Yo, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks for you to make your world that little bit more interesting. Today, I've got some brilliant effects from this book by Forces Unseen, and that is coming up. After yourselves. Now, this is a fantastic book by Forces Unseen, Ernest Eric. This is written by Stephen Minch. This is definitely not a beginner's book, so if you're just starting out in card magic, this is definitely not one to be starting on too advanced. If you've been doing card magic for a while, then definitely this is one to have. There is some awesome material in here. The tricks and moves in here are not that easy to learn. It does take a little bit of practice. I know there'll be people out there going, Her. That's not very good. Thank you for the tutorial. Shut up. But well, I hope you enjoy this video. I've noticed while scrolling through the internet that most of the videos I've, in fact, all of the videos I've seen with the, the tricks out of this book are all done to music or just silent. Or hopefully, a little performance fun I add to the tricks today you might enjoy. Let's get into the first one. I'll well, see you after. One empty case. One deck of cards. Well, it's just 52 of them, but you get the gist. And a spectator can select anyone they wish. Let's go for this one. And it is our oh, King of Clubs. Now, if we take that King of Clubs, it can be signed. Doesn't matter. We'll place it into the deck, like so. And you can see there's the cards there. Nothing funny going on yet. Now, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take the card case over there, which has been in full view the whole time. I haven't been anywhere near it. And if you look, I just blow on the case. All I've got to do is snap the fingers like that. And now inside is one card, and it is <laughs> the King of Clubs. <sighs> Did you know, as a family, we didn't know whether to have grandma cremated or buried. So in the end, we just let her live. So what do you think to that little effect? I think that's nice, really nice, completely impromptu card to box. That's called House Guest, and that's on page 53. Please let me know what you think to that. Let's get into this next one. I hope you enjoy this. It's got a bit of fun to it. And I'll let you know what it's called after. Okay, now for this effect, you don't just require a pack of cards, you also need a coin. You can borrow this for Spectator. Uh, excuse me, do you uh, have a coin I can borrow? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Um, oh yeah. Uh, I've got one of these. <laughs> no, oh, better have a coin then. Uh, anyway, so we have a coin and some cards. A spectator can select any card they wish, in this case, <gasps> the Three of Clubs. Now, the card can be signed, and also the coin can be signed. We'll take the Three of Clubs, placing it into the deck, like so. And you can see that, in fact, hand empty. And I'm going to actually take my hand here, empty. Watch the coin. There is the coin. Take it from here. I'm going to wave that coin, and magically, it changes their selection. Now, everybody says, where's the coin? Well, actually the coin is now where the card was. A transposition has occurred. <laughs> you know, I was in the supermarket the other day with my granddad and he turned to me and he said, I've just done a silent fart. What should I do? I said, well, change the batteries in your hearing aids for starters. And that one was called Yours. No, mine. No, yours. And that's on page 102. Nice effect there, where the coin changes into their card. And that was inspired by an effect that he saw in The Art of Astonishment by Paul Harris. And I've covered that trick before in my other videos. I've also done a short. I can't remember what the effect is actually called. You'll have to look it up. Check out all my videos. Josh Logan. Logan Josh. 
Thanks for introducing me to that. I thought I'd give that a go. Hope I've done it justice. Let me know what you think to that effect. Let's get into the next one. Here's an interesting little piece. Take some cards, we'll just give them a little cut, like so. The spectator can select a card. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna riffle down the cards like that, and they come out stop whenever they like. Just like that. And you can see that in fact, there, I want them to remember that middle card. Okay, and I'm gonna push it into the deck, like so. Now I'm gonna riffle down the cards one more time like that, and they can call out stop again. Stop. And I say, is that? your card, the Queen of Diamonds. And of course they say, no, it's not. Well, I say, well, allow me to do a little bit of magic with it. Watch the Queen of Diamonds, a little tap, and it changes to their selection. <laughs> a miracle has just occurred. So that was called Proteus, and that's on page 15. So quickie, with the old snap change there, I think it looks quite nice. Let's get into this next effect. I like this one, I hope you do too. See you after. Roll up, roll up, who wants to see a trick then? Of course you do. Well, I'm gonna take four of my favorite cards from this deck, they are the aces. So, we'll take our uh, one, two, three, and finally, uh, four aces. Now, you see, we have four aces. One, two, three, four. Four cards. Now, I'm gonna just square these up like so. And I am going to put these aces around about halfway in the deck. So, about, about halfway. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these cards like so into four, four piles. And I'm going to take the aces one at a time. And we're going to place one ace over here, <gasps> put that on top. One ace over there, put that on top. One ace over there, put that on top. And of course, the final ace will go on top of that pile. Now we have three aces through the deck, and we'll take this pile and we'll make that pile vanish, and it becomes the four aces. That's one, two, three four aces magically appear in that pile. And what do you think to that? Where a pile of cards just disappears and turns into the aces. That's called Lonely at the Top. And that's on page 45. Who's reading me? Yeah. Okay, now let's get into this last effect now. This one I really enjoyed performing. I've covered this a few times now. I remember when I first saw it, it blew me away. It's called Claptrap, and it's the first effect in this book. It's on page three. Check it out, enjoy. Okay, here's another nice one. Performed this before, and I quite like it. Now, we'll take these three cards, the ace, the two, and the three of half. Of course, any three cards can be used. And we'll place them into different locations of the deck, like so. Squaring them up as we go, and I'm gonna give them a little shuffle. truly mixed and you can see that in fact over here nothing and over here nothing the cards are well and truly in there I'm going to square them up like so and we're going to use the power of sound that is the first card the ace the second card the two of hearts and of course, the third card at the fingertips. And that is how you produce cards. You know, it's really hot in the UK at the moment. The other day, one of my chickens laid an omelette. So there you go. Five fantastic little effects from this book. I just wanted to show you some of the things you can learn. It's quite advanced. It will improve your card magic. I do highly recommend this book. By Forces Unseen by Ernest Arik. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and press the bell so you get notified of all my <laughs> videos. They're really good. Because you don't want to miss out on any of them, because I believe there might be something in it for you. And please smash that like button because I really, really appreciate it. And I also love it when you guys leave comments. If there's anything you want to see from any books, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. And remember this, people. This is the most important part of magic. Don't reveal the secrets. I'm going to go and practice some more magic now. And hopefully another video coming up soon. Let me know what you think. Please send me a comment. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.